Okay, so we, uh, we've got everything synced. We are ready to uh, give this a try. So first run, kind of exciting. Uh, just so you know, I didn't run this on the side. Now I'm going to, uh, you know, run it with you to see how well it works, you know, having already known that it works or something like that. I'm uh, just going to run it run it through uh, with you here and see what happens. So uh, is it going to build first time through? No, no way. Uh, we're going to have some errors, hopefully some really good ones to look at. That'll be really great. So we're setting up our build environment setup. Um, we're going to launch our device. We see it there, number seven, for uh, our blocks to eng. So if they set it up, it says, hey, I need this huge on common. It goes and gets it. That's what we wanted, right? And it says, hey, there it is. And we look at this, and this looks good. So let's uh, brunch. And notice the brunch command is empty. Uh, if you need more explanation on these, I do have a previous video series on that. Um, but uh, brunch, we'll just do our lineage. Right, OS? No, it's just uh, lineage. Underscore life one x two dash eng. So it's going to look for the dependencies, which is already downloaded. Uh, this is good. It's going to build the variant of engineering. It's uh, target product lineage life one x two. It's finding everything that it needs so far. Life is going good. It's checking for the build tools to make sure that we have uh, everything available that we need. And we're just kind of waiting with uh, bated breath here. And so now we wait. Let's see what's going on here. We've got got it uh, starting the build process here. Exciting. Kind of slow getting started here. Um, did download that QCOM common folder. That's good. <clears throat> oh, we got our first error right out of the gate. Fingerprint uh, D. It says that there is already that's already defined somewhere else. So what that means is that it's uh, being defined twice. We have it in our device tree and it's in uh, lineage OS already by default. So it could be that when they originally built the garlic that the fingerprint daemon wasn't in lineage by default. Um, and so they had to declare it themselves. Uh, since it has the exact same name and everything, I'm going to go with it's probably good in the system. So we have to remove one or the other. We either remove it from the system or we remove it from our tree. And I recommend that in this case, we'll go ahead and remove it from our tree. Um, you could do this many, many different ways. You could rename it to something else. You could, uh, you know, remove the one from the tree uh, or something like that. But I just think in this case, we'll go ahead and remove it from our tree and uh, instead of the one from system, and we'll take the system one and try that. If the system one doesn't work, then we can edit it to be the one that we want. So we'll run this again and see uh, see what we get. Once again, it's just checking all the build tools, it's getting everything prepped and ready. We'll probably have another error right off the bat. And there we go. <clears throat> error stop uh, image magic is not installed. So it needs it needs the image magic uh, tool installed. So we'll do apt install image magic. 
type in our password. Do we want to install it? Yes. Take it just a second here. Okay, it's done installing. Let's run again and see what uh, what we get next. You'll find it's pretty common that you either have errors right off the bat, or it takes a long time and then you have errors. Uh, I know that doesn't sound very profound, like, oh, you either have errors right off the bat or you have errors later, but it, it's worthwhile to note that if you're going to be building in the background or something like that, watch the first few seconds, because that's typically when you're gonna have a show-stopping error right at the beginning or it's gonna be you know, an hour or two later into the build where you're gonna see some kind of problem. So we'll just wait this one out. 